What's up, cheers? It's James here, and welcome to Fresh Movie Reviews. Now, we're going at 11 here. Oh. Because it's Nick Cage, and this time, I'm, wow. I'd say it's either someone's drug fueled nightmare or hardcore wet dream, but it's holy fucking shit. I'm reviewing Mandy, and it was by Panos Cosmatos. Cosmatos? Uh, again, I apologise. Uh, he is relatively new, I think. He's uh, he's direct only directed two, written two, and helped with one other thing. But um, his first one was Beyond the Black Rainbow. Don't want to think about that. But Mandy, well, <laughs> uh, we've got. Nick Cage, Andrea Riseborough, Linus Roach, um, uh, Bill Duke, Ned Dehaney, um, yes, Jeremiah, yes, that's the one. Uh, holy fucking shit. I'd say I don't usually, I wouldn't usually recommend it to anyone. Sober. <laughs> this was fucking out there. This should like this should have been made probably in the seventies or eighties, because it had that vibe. Um, the movie was set in uh, nineteen eighty three, but um, this was like heavily synthesized, dark colors, um, great one liners, great action, great violence. Uh, shown slash not shown, and just and basic Nick La Nick Age going all at it. Like I believe the director was probably like, okay, dude, do what you need to do. Um, story like um basic story I think from what I got, a uh, loving couple Nick Cage and his girlfriend Mandy. Uh, they are doing their thing. She goes for a walk one day, gets noticed by a cult leader. Cult leader wants her. And so the cult leader gets his boys to summon bikies. Literally, probably from hell, because they were, um, introduced to some hardcore LSD that basically made them demons. As you do. Uh, Bikey was basically looking like a lizard, drooling everywhere. One looked like the cousin of Pinhead. Another one, uh, it was, it was all plastic or something. But yeah, it was just like, holy fucking shit. Um, I like, I thought, uh, Nick Cage uh, couldn't raise the bar anymore. But yeah, he did. Facial expression thing. He killed a dude. Got basically a full glass full of cocaine or crack or whatever it was and sniffed it. It was like, cool. There was a uh, hallucinogenic bee or something in it. And he dipped his finger in and licked it on his tongue. And then basically we had like a, I'll say a 10 second... Uh, mirage of his face melting and all that and him going crazy. It's like, holy fucking crap. Um, now, apparently the director has been, not, like, his first movie was known to be out there. And Mandy is the team version. And this was only, like, a one-time one showing for Tasmania. Um, the DVD is probably coming out real, real quite soon. Um... But for the one time showing, like tonight, uh, it was packed. There were only a, probably a few seats left. Um, but I think everyone was there either for the hype for the director or the hype for Nick Cage. <laughs> or both. But um, if I see Panos Kosmatos' name next time, it's like, definitely going. And if it's Nick Cage, definitely going again. Um... I'd say this is my movie of the year. Uh, when I do my top ten of the year of what to see or what 
you should say, fuck on this one. But be high on LSD or weed or something because it will make it even better. Um, it had, like, uh, uh, Nick Cage's performance was great because he didn't speak that much. He just was re reacting, like, you know, his, his facial expressions, covered in blood, high on cocaine, high on whatever. It's like, holy fucking shit, man. Um, he had awesome fight. He made a fucking axe blade. It was like, holy shit. Um, he had a, I would say, he had a um, chainsaw fight with a dude. Um... And he, uh, what else? Yes, it was just like, I don't, just no words, but yes. Um, usually I would give it like one out of ten, or like one from ten, one to ten. This goes up to fucking eleven. This was fucking amazing. Uh, like I said, movie of the year. I love it. Everyone needs to watch it. This was like a special treat from something that only comes every now and again. Like the, like the synth made you feel like you were heavily in the 80s, the colours and all that, like I said. Um, it was, it's like that rare treat of like Hobo with a Shotgun or John Wick or um, uh, what else is it like? But other really one, Get Out, um, the, uh, the Purge, it's like... Those cinematic goldenness that only come every now and again. We might not see another one of this in quite a while, but here's hoping. <laughs> um, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Uh, but if you see it out on the DVD or whatever, get it. Watch it. Enjoy it. Fucking hell.